That was awesome. A Lonely Place for Dying is an action thriller set in 1972. But for me, it's really the, the story of how the sins of your past can come back to haunt you. It's such a compelling story in the sense that there's two people who are sent to kill each other. Well, Nikolai Drzezinski's only one man, okay? The situation's under control. Not until that shale Chikisti's dead and the evidence is gone. Next status report is 1400. Better be done by then. Both Michael Scavati and Ross Marquand uh, spent four months doing martial arts training. Uh, the hand-to-hand -hand combat is quite brutal. It's messy, it's dirty, it looks extraordinarily painful. <laughs> Nikolai is sort of a um, caged animal. He's been, he's been on the run from both the KGB and from the CIA. He's a double operative. He's trying to uh, sell secrets to uh, the Washington Post. You have a story to tell? Great. I still don't know what the story is, but no story is worth crossing the CIA. Having an Oscar-nominated actor join our cast was um, quite the compliment. James Cromwell, I mean, he's a superstar. You know that you're dealing with a Hollywood heavyweight? You're accusing a CIA manager of committing the worst possible kind of war crimes. There are so many ways this could go south. I've worked with a lot of good actors. Uh, Michael Wincott. Beyond his skill level, beyond his ability to just bring a character to life, it's all the subtle nuances. Um, it's the fact that on the first take, he's ready to go. But until this war ends, I'm your handler, Nicola, and I decide when you need to be extracted. The only thing he cares about is delivering perfection on the screen. I hope that I get to work with Michael Wincott the rest of my life. We're done with this. Let's go back to punching the close-up of him uh, worrying away. Justin's very driven. He's a perfectionist who knows exactly what he wants. I understand the need to package a movie so it looks like a genre picture. The way he always pitched it was going back to the studio films of the 70s and uh, getting back to the raw, gritty style of filmmaking from, from that era. It's an action film where we've got uh, special ops teams killing each other with AK-47s. It just looks so cool, you know? But it's not a cliched action movie. It's got passion, it's got suspense. Is there more? Ah! The appeal of A Lonely Place for Dying goes beyond the guns and fist fights. Anyone who knows what it is like to have made a mistake, changed, become a better person, and still have to pay the price for those mistakes will relate to Robert Harper's journey. He's a flawed human being who made mistakes many years in his past and has no choice but to go to the Mexican desert and clean up his own mess.